Um, actually, I feel really happy. The most important thing is the victory. You can be man of the match and you lost. This is shit. So I'm really happy for the victory, most important. Okay, questions? Yes, here. I would like you to talk us through the goal that Nigeria scored today. You were very fast on the break and able to deliver calmly to Ademola Lukman to score. Talk us through that goal and what was going through your mind. Thank you. Uh, actually, what's going through my mind is it's either I pass the ball to Victor or Ademola or I score. But uh, at the moment, we don't need to be selfish. We just need to uh, feed them and the score, and um, I'm really happy he utilized the chances. Okay, is he? Uh, I didn't hear the one joke from uh, Brilla, Nigeria. Um, so we thought Victor Simeon scored uh, that uh, second goal, but uh, it was cancelled. Um, I'd like to know what what's what's the mood like in the in the dress, dressing room with um, with him and uh, knowing that there is so much expectation for him to score goals, uh, but the goals are not coming just yet. What's, what's the mood like in the dressing room? Are you guys telling him anything? Is there any sort of conversations you know, with, uh, you know, amongst yourself? Um, actually, the mood is uh, very good in the camp. Likewise, everyone. We don't even think about this, and I believe even him, he don't think about scoring. He think about victory. If he have the opportunity, he will score. But if you have the opportunity, once again, he still give the pass. But the important thing I can say is we just want to win. We don't care who score, who don't score. OK, one last question there. Uh, congrats again. Uh, Emmanuel from Nigeria. Uh, I just want to find out, it was really hot today, 31 degrees all through. Did that in any way affect the overall performance of the players? Uh, actually, I would say no, because we are all uh, we are all the same. When you say hot, when you feel it, they feel it also. So for me, it doesn't matter. We are all the same. Okay. Thank you, Moses. And once again, congratulations for your awards. Thank Thanks. you very much. Soon, the two coach Angola. Uh, first of all, congratulations for your qualification to the semi-final. Before we go for the Q&A, I will ask you to give us. Uh, what do you take from the match today? It was a very tough game, but finally your boys made it. Thank you for the question. First, was the team create more chance against us until now? At least true to, I think, in the first corner. After that, that ball was touching the post. This represented the quality of this team, Angola, didn't reach the quarterfinal for Milegre or something, or lucky, but because it's a good team. One time more, our team didn't concede a goal. One time more, score one. I would like to score more. I think you create more chances. In the first half, we dominate and control the opponent. Good ball possession, I think, in our better match in the offensive organization, in the midfield opponent, and move the ball inside, outside, create space, even Angola close in the back. In the second half, you could uh, create more in counter-attack, because Angola try to put more people in the, in, more players in the front, more players, more attackers. I think three or four or five or six times you could decide better in the last moment because you arrived there with three against two, two against two, four against three. But it, I think he did decide that only he missed this point because if he, he, do, he did well, the counter-attack or, counter or finalize well or decide well in the last moment, I think he put, could score more one or two goals. But in the final, congratulations by my players. I'm happy. My players deserve. And congratulations for the Angola. They did a fantastic tournament. Questions? Yeah, here. Yeah. Nigeria beat uh, Angola when Afcon was in the extra time and 2 1. <laughs> this team. Angola is a good team, as a good team. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Uh, coach, congratulations on your, on your win. Besides the fact that you scored a goal, actually, that got you the win, what did you find 
good about the game, looking at it over 90 minutes, and what was the thing you found most difficult in the game? It didn't suffer goal. If you don't concede a goal, you can in win every time because it's not easy. You don't score. It's not easy. Our team don't score. Um, I think in the second half, we didn't do the second goal and come too much in the back. And the opponent with shooting, with cross, could do some danger with us. Uh, I think uh, Navali did very good. Two, two gold saves. Two. Um, okay. I think my team played very well in the first half. They controlled the counter-attack the opponent. The opponent didn't do nothing special. Only that free uh, corner. In the second half, they create one opportunity. Clear. We lose two consecutive balls in the middle. Um, and in the final... You come in the back. It's not easy win the ball in the in the air with my my defensive line because it's strong guys and uh, high guys, Ekong, Basei, Omeru, and uh, Ajay. Okay, in the in the final of the match, come the nervous. Uh, the match, the teams, the both teams broke. I don't like that. I don't like my team separate the team in two teams. It's danger, and uh, that way is not good for us. My team must go and attack everybody, and we we lose the ball. Pressure there. We didn't do it. For that, we suffer more than uh, suffering the other match. Okay. Hello, Hervé uh, Pono from L'Equipe. I wanted to know what happened exactly with Trust Ekong uh, near the bench, because he seemed to be quite uh, nervous. Uh, perhaps he wanted the more changes, no? <laughs> no. Um, before... The the break, I call uh, Aobi and Donieka ask them who is more tired for put one player inside. No one said I am tired. After five minutes, Ekon come and said Onyeka cannot more. Only that, Ekon advi inform me, Mister. I think uh, you must change Onyeka because it's not. Uh, I, I feel no angry, but I know my in my bench. If I if I ask, okay, it's better keep Awabi, put Yusuf, and you can go out before. But okay, but I know all the players want to play until final. Uh, in the mission, I am I was angry in that moment. For two times, I can't miss, but he's tired. He don't support the the pain in the shoulder. Uh, okay, but I asked him before. He was okay. Five minutes before, no 10 or 15 or 20. But it's happened in football. And only the, the, of course, the captain in the, in the field can inform me about some, some situation, some player tired, some player feels some pain and like that. Even when Donieka left, but I support more time. Why didn't say to me? Yeah. I'm coach. My name is Bilo Motunde from Master Sports Nigeria. Actually, I want to ask, um, Saidu Sanusi has um, had uh, little challenges in the left back. What is your take concerning the performance of Saidu Sanusi? I think Saidu play well. <laughs> but it's not easy to play full back in this system because they must go in the other line and come with this line. Is um, one uh, different uh, energy, is a uh, or different is, is for mm, one guy running in the middle and running five meters, ten meters, and the same speed. But the fullback must go in speed and come in speed. And sometimes the fullbacks feel in some moment no fresh. If not fresh, it's possible. Don't decide well. Normal when you play with. Uh, 3-4-3, three, three, like you played, and our f wingers play inside. Normally, we will change the two full back for stay more fresh. Okay? Zaidu, I think, play better this match than last match, in my opinion. Of course, one, op one option in, first, uh, in the first half, three against two, and he uh, allowed the guy to come in the back and get the ball. Um, but he, sh he did a f good shooting, good score, a second goal. Um, I, 
I think all this is, uh, but uh, no, I, I know. All the players in some moment can do mistakes. I don't like, you see my, in my image, I don't like this, the mistakes, but can do mistakes. But I think all my players play well. I am very happy with them. They believe in us. They believe in our structure. They believe in our idea. They believe in our model. They believe in our organization. They believe in our spirit. I am very happy with my players. They deserve. They deserve. I come, I, 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 I feel the responsibility for do for them all, because they do for me all, all, all. For me, for the Super Eagles, for the 220, 250 million uh, Nigerian people. These players deserve, they fight, they fight, they fight. It's not easy, this tournament. It's not easy, this tournament. Thank you, coach. Yes, yeah. I'm Mohanad Ali, from Garida in the Sharq Al-Awsat. Question in the Arabic language. What is happened? Mr. Pesero. It's okay, they have the translation. But the last one didn't do. Go ahead, change the channel. Okay, go ahead. No, it's still on four. It's Portuguese. Why three? No, four. Why is four? So, early in Mr. Pissero, لم يكن قبل البطولة في مستوى جيد وقدم بعض النتائج الضعيفة سواء في تصفيات كأس العالم أو المباريات الودية وبدأ أيضا البطولة بشكل غير جيد ولكنه I don't understand I don't listen nothing Translated but don't listen Nigeria before the tournament I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry Okay Go ahead no, come on. Oh, I'm sorry, everybody. Uh, I'm asking about that uh, uh, Nigeria before the tournament wasn't uh, that good in the uh, uh, World Cup qualifications and the uh, matches before the tournament. Uh, and uh, uh, they started the tournament with a, a loss. Uh, but now uh, uh, you are in the semi final. Uh, are you now uh, ready uh, to be the champion of Africa? Thank you very much. <laughs> Um, first, it's true, the results against Lesotho, Zimbabwe was bad. The first match, you create a lot of opportunity and suffer on goal and draw. Against Zimbabwe, I don't speak about that because um, I think we didn't deserve to beat Zimbabwe, but something didn't uh, come right in some moment. In qualification, our team was a team more goals more goals, the best, the best score, the best guy in the assistance. Until now, he only in 13 match, only lose one official match, only one, only one, against Guinea-Bissau in the home. That match, you create a lot of opportunity and, <laughs> and lose one nil. The friend match, the friend match, you want to win, you want to beat any team. But the friend match, for me, is important for you to check something for you put some players like uh, against Guinea Conakry you lost against Guinea Conakry 2 nil, but you didn't play it all the team of course the Nigerian people must obey us for win every time but if I don't test or don't check in the, off in the uh, friendly match some situation some structure the first time you play this structure what when when I can play when I can test when I can check the players Okay, I know everybody like, okay, want to win, want to win. Even Nigeria play every time, defend the match, away. Away. Many teams play in the home for win. Play in the home against no so good teams for win. Nigeria, no play on match in the home, away. Portugal, Algeria, México, uh, Ecuador, um, okay, Guin Saudi Arabia in Portugal, he didn't lose with a draw. Oh, Mozambique, he won. Oh, oh in the Abu Dhabi. For me, the friendly match, only for training and check our job, because it's not easy. One national team developed a good system, 
if you have only five or six days for prepare the match. Against Lesotho, two days. Against Zimbabwe, one day for prepare too much. Of course, no one player can connect the ship in two days from the leadership in the club, the model in the club, different structure in the club, different set piece in the club, different. And you play two days to, to practice and more on practice. Happened to all the teams, of course, not only us. But in that moment, for us, it was worse. Play 16 and 19. Right, Boa noite, Jornal dos Desportos de Angola. Bem, Mister, uh, notei que durante o jogo uh, não sentou-se no, no, no banco, né? não conseguiu, ficou todo o jogo a, a, praticamente a orientar a equipa. Bem, e sentiu que o segundo golo que foi anulado seria o golo da tranquilidade, que daria tranquilidade à equipa, né? uh, não sendo o considerado válido, sentiu alguma ansiedade, alguma pressão que a solução da Angola uh, fazia no momento? Olha, primeiro, tu, se, se me conheces no banco, eu sou assim. Primeiro, estou um pouco gordo, a minha mulher diz que eu tenho que perder peso, se eu estou em pé, sou um bocadinho mais, e sou capaz de perder 4 ou 5 quilos, ela fica mais contente. Depois, porque uh, sou um treinador interventivo, um treinador que gosta de estar a participar, às vezes, que as jogadores me ouvem, pode ser, mas pronto, eu penso que estou a fazer o meu trabalho. Uh, depois, um, é evidente que o segundo gol dava outra tranquilidade dava para eu manejar melhor a equipa para colocar os jogadores que eu queria colocar que são importantes nesta competição estou a falar o Samuel fez um grandes jogos e não, está, não jogou hoje o Kelechi, que é um jogador que eu estou à espera de dar uma oportunidade porque é um jogador fantástico e que até agora eu não lhe dei uma oportunidade e estava a pensar hoje porque o jogo pode estar muito aceso é um jogador, não joga há muito tempo um jogo titular há dois meses praticamente não joga um jogo titular na equipa e eu tenho algum receio de colocar e ele ter dado uma resposta correta. O Mofi, que eu também gostaria de estar. O Ahmed, que eu também gostaria de colocar em campo. E, e tanto gostaria que fosse o 2-0 para ficar aliviado e poder manejar um pouco mais. Mas isto deve-se ao valor do Angola. Vocês têm uma grande seleção. Já tive o, o prazer de falar com o Pedro, com o Fred e com, com o Dalla, que foi o meu jogador no Sporting. E dizer-lhes que Angola tem uma grande equipa. Angola tem que acreditar que pode ir ao Mundial. Tem que acreditar que pode ganhar um Afcon. Porque está cada vez mais próximo das melhores seleções da, 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 da África. E eu acredito que esta Angola, pelo trabalho que está a ser feito, pelos jogadores que têm, tem muita, e tem, não, é, não é só os jogadores que estão a jogar os 11, como as, as opções que têm. E eu espero que a Angola dê os parabéns, para já, porque hum, já disse ontem, eu tenho um sentimento muito grande pelos países lusófonos, grande, porque, não sei, desde miúdo que, apesar das coisas menos boas que nós fizemos lá, peço desculpa, por, mas a verdade é que se calhar não fizemos coisas assim tão boas. Mas nós somos mesmo irmãos de Angola e Moçambique e Cabo Verde e Guiné. Nós somos muito amigos mesmo. E nós, São Tomé e Príncipe também. Nós somos amigos, nós gostamos muito dos países. Não creio que ninguém, nenhum país do mundo possa gostar tanto de Angola como, como os portugueses. É a minha opinião. Um, e, portanto, acho que, que fico contente de Angola ter feito um grande trajeto. Como eu tinha dito, pena ser eu ou o Pedro ir embora. Olha, é o Pedro. Eu, eu, não gostaria que fosse eu. 